Hey everyone, it's Coach Willens coming to you on day 23 of our COVID-19 self-isolation, self-distancing at home. And we've been doing a lot of training here. We found a silver lining in being stuck at home, which is that we get a lot more time to work on basketball. And uh, we thought maybe we could inspire some of the rest of you to do some of the things because in the three weeks or so we've been here, we're, um, we're really seeing improvement and we're getting better every day, getting out here with Thea and Luke, doing some skills and drills, having some fun. And so the idea was let's make some videos, share some ideas, give you guys some drills so you can take it with you. We're really lucky. We have a, a basketball court at home. Not all of you do. Uh, maybe if you have a chance, you can go with a family member, somebody safe that you live with to a park or by yourself and get some of the same stuff done. Um, the off season is where we develop. The off season is where we um, get better. It's really hard to spend enough time in season in team training to do skills development as an individual player. So I'm hoping that you can find some accountability and some commitment for yourself. Um, try to get better every day uh, and help grow for our basketball program. Um, our goal started in a very simple way. And the goal was, hey, let's, uh, let's get 100 makes a day. And those 100 makes, let's mix them up a little bit. Let's focus on different skills. Um, and we're kind of expanding that now. And we're, we're trying to go beyond that. So um, we're looking at important skills from ball handling, um, footwork, things like jabs and rips and uh, pivots and the ability to, to work on that. Shooting, of course, shooting, but not just shoot, shooting repetitive shots, shooting off the dribble, uh, shooting on the catch, shooting on the move, um, all the different kinds of things that you have to do in basketball. Um, finishing, finishing with our weak hand, working on our weak hand. If you're not working on your weak hand all the time, you're not developing. So these are some things that um, we're going to do. We're going to uh, give you some ideas and make some videos, and hopefully you can take it with you. Um, we always start. Thea, come on, here, come on over. We always start up close. Those of you guys that play with me know pretty, this is pretty important something I'm pretty passionate about. Um, we're going to always be in close, working on our basic form and our basic shooting. And the reason that we do this is to try to groove our shot in our mind, in our body, in our muscle memory to finding our release. Go ahead, Thea, just start your shot, groove. What we look for is swishes. We're not looking for any backboard here. We're going to focus on swishes. We're looking at um, five, six in a row before we step back. And all we're trying to do in this process is warm up our body and our brain to our release point so that we're, in, we're getting our, uh, our shot ready and our muscle memory ready for as we go through our workout. Once you've taken and, and made five, six in a row, backed up, made a few more, you go from there, um, and then you start your workout. Key things also to think about here, uh, form and follow through. And, and I like to also encourage my players to, once you've got warm up, make sure you're jumping and shooting a jump shot. Releasing at the apex of your shot, finding that release. So a lot of times we see just younger players, younger girls, very set on their set shot, on their feet, they're not getting off the ground. And as we develop, we really want to work on our jump shot. So, Get off the ground, release at the top, um, learn to shoot at the apex of your jump, and you do that as part of your warm up as well once you've got your release moving. Um, from there, there's lots of different things you can do. Um, today, uh, we, I want to start with some offhand layups. Um, our weak hand is something we've got to develop, so we'll have Thea sit here, and our goal is um, see if we can get 10 in a row, but Work on whatever goal is good for you, whether it's four in a row, five in a row, but work on your offhand layups, do the proper form, the proper steps, use the backboard every time. Go ahead. There's a big coaching point that, that, um, that I want to emphasize here, which is getting your eyes up on the target 
get your eyes up when you pick up the ball. So we want your eyes up whenever you are dribbling to finish. Get your eyes on the target when you pick up the basketball. We don't want to be shooting or lifting with our eyes down. We want to focus on the target with our eyes up. Be consistent, work on it. Good job, Theo, good job. Good consistency, good effort. We're getting movement, we're getting a little workout. We talk about weekend development, we talk about not just obviously layups and shooting, finishing and ball handling. And that is a major factor in how you're going to get better. Okay? All right. Good job. Um, once you've done some of that, uh, we're going to switch over and look for some reverse layups. So now Sophia is going to do a right hand reverse layup across. Um, again, another finishing shot. So things that you have to work on. So this would be some of the same keys we're used to, the same skills of a layup, but you have to get your eyes on the target and rotate your body to finish it. Go ahead. Nice job. Um, this is stuff, if you work on it, you will get better at it. We're working on this stuff every day, and we see a lot of improvement. I want to encourage you to do the same. That's how you get better. Great job, Thea. better you get at it, the more athletic you want to push yourself, the more game speed you want to try to accomplish in the move. Um, when you're starting out, start out basic. As you get better, try to work in more power, more speed, try to get it to game speed. All right, so these qualify as finishing. Finishing is one of the key things we want to work on. There's different finishing shots, right? Around the rim, layups, reverses. Those are things we should do some of every single day. All right? All right, uh, let's go to shooting. So, uh, lots of things you can do in shooting. One of the things that we've been doing here, and working on, is some off the dribble stuff. Um, so. Uh, again, we want to go both hands, we want to go off the dribble, and, and we want to start maybe one move and then we want to combine. So we want to make it some, have some fun with it. We also want to make it challenging for skills. So you might start with simple, a simple off the dribble, like an inside out, one dribble, and then a pull, and then grow from there to inside out, crossover, one dribble, and so on. And so um, I'm going to give Thea some leeway. I want her to go a move to the right, a move to the left if she wants to combine. And the, the key focus that I talked about in finishing, I want to talk about here, which is get your eyes up on the target as you pick it up. So if I'm here and pick up the ball, I'm already sighting the target. Okay, here you go, Thea. Have at it. Good gather, good shot. So what, one thing we also focus on is what we call the gather, which is gathering, and Thea is working on doing that in the jump stops to gather and square and shoot. She can explode into a jump shot as she does that. The more we practice, the faster and better we'll get with that. Good combine, good shot, good job. Keep working at it. A little between the legs, I like to try. A little short, but that's all right. Mix it up. That's right, start it over. <laughs> Good 
Beautiful. Great shot. Keep it up. All right. Be careful not to travel. If you pick it up too early and hop, it'll be a travel, so we want to be careful about that. All right. Be balanced. Have your footwork. So the other thing that you see is Thea's we're throwing in some jabs. So footwork is huge in shooting. Footwork includes preparation, catch and shoot, but also jabs, pivots. So one thing that is mightily important in all of this is your pivot foot. So give me the ball. Uh, if you were a right-handed player, you 99% of the time we're going to use a left-handed pivot foot. Or left footed, I'm sorry, a left foot pivot foot. That's hugely important. It's critical that you groove the correct pivot foot. It's the opposite if you're left handed. You're going to have a right handed, a right foot pivot foot. Uh, why? What's the, why is the reason for that? Well, there's several, but the primary reason is when I'm in my triple threat in a shooting position with my left handed pivot foot, I'm in the proper shooting position. If I use my right hand, my right foot as a pivot foot, I am not able to be square in a proper shooting position to drive at my defender. And a lot of what we do in basketball is drive at our defender, drive him off balance, and shoot. And if I can develop this shot, I'm much tougher to guard. But this is a very difficult way to shoot. So focus on your left handed pivot, left footed pivot foot on all of these moves. Go ahead. Again, just a little inside out. Here, why don't you give me a two moves? Let me give you an inside out, a crossover, combine something. Good. Good gather. Try to stay balanced. A little off balance there. We want to go straight up. If we go straight up, we're going to be more successful in our shot. Good job. Keep working. Here's our goal. Get better every day. Get better a little bit every day by doing this kind of work. It's all right, good move, good shot. I'm lucky. All right. Now, Thea got the ball a little bit in front of her. I like to see the ball out to the side. Let me see it. All right. I don't want to dribble too much in front of me. I want to dribble out to the side when I go up with my shot. All right. Never dribble the ball. Tindley never dribble the ball in front. That's where the defense is. That's where the defense is. So when we do our ball handling, the ball is outside our foot, outside our hip. Here we go. Nice job. All right, good work. Okay. Um, so now we're going to do some of the sys aim, but we're going to do it from a triple threat. So this is when I talked about the pivot foot. So we're going to start with a jab to the right and a rip back with a left-handed layup, okay? So we're going to jab, rip, left-handed layup. All right, now this is not an easy shot or an easy angle. Let's see if we can do it. All right, give me one more step. You're wrong foot. It's all right, good finish, but wrong foot. Give me one more step. Yeah, give me one more step. Get off the right foot. It's all right. I like that you're making it off that foot. There you go. Beautiful. That's a one dribble finish from out here with a good fake. Good. Go ahead, one more time. Good job. All right. So now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to pull up. So it's going to be... Yeah, fake, pull up, shot, okay, here we go. Good. All these different things to work on. So again, careful with the gather that it's not a travel. You gotta time that gather so we're not jumping after we've already picked up the ball. Beautiful. Good job. Okay, 
so. Then we go to the next progression. Right? Uh, and this, this is uh, what is always one of my favorite moves. So I was driving, I just beat that person this way, so I drive with my outside foot, I use the ball as a rip fake, and I go back to the right and pull that back. So he's now taking him to the left, take him to the right. Here we go. So jab, good. Find your balance, straight up, find your balance. Hey, let's go with layups. Let's do a layup first. Good. Now I'd like a better fake and a truer rip. So I'd like to see Thea, when she does this, I'd like to see a good fake and a rip, and then that with more purpose. Here we go. I like to try for one dribble. Let's get a little more direct line in the basket. Not go so wide. Try. Excellent. Beautiful. Do it with force. You beat your girl. You're gone. There you go. Let's do it again. Good job. Okay. Now, what is this all important? We work on our shooting. We work on our fakes. We drive. Now we can really make it difficult to be guarded. So if I'm guard being guarded here and I can make this shot right there, now they have to guard that shot. Now I can fake right and go left. I can fake left, right, go right. I can bring all those different moves into play to beat my girl. Okay. Uh, next one, we're gonna fake, pull, shot. All right. I'm gonna move this in just a little bit. I want you to work on form. All right, so left foot's your pivot foot. You're gonna fake X, pull back, shot. Gotta get down. Can I back here? Huh? So again, we're gonna go fake, back, shot. Fake, back, shot. All right. Good. There we go. Fake. Pull back. Shot. Good job. Good job. All right. Good job. Just some of the jabs. So we've done some finishing. We've done some jabs. Now we just want to work on some shooting. And there's also some games. So. A couple different games that, uh, that I learned from another uh, resource, Breakthrough Basketball, great resource, check it out if you're interested in just some cool coaching ideas. Um, as a coach, there's all these different places to go and search and players as well um, for training. Um, some of the best I know are Key 5 Coaching, PGC, um, Breakthrough Basketball, and these guys have a tremendous amount of knowledge that I can gain as a coach, you can gain as a player on some drills. So um, they've got a couple things. Put a time on it, move around the basketball court, and just show one minute. A swish is two points, a make is one point. Try to see how many points you can get. Make it two minutes, make it a minute and a half, it doesn't matter. It's one thing you can do to challenge yourself, be competitive. Okay, so we're gonna work on shooting on the move. Uh, so Thea's gonna start down here. She's gonna run kind of around the cone. I'm gonna demonstrate first to you, get over there at the foul line. So he's gonna run, run around the cone. The key here, don't throw it yet, don't throw it yet. The key here is I want to to catch this pass in the jump stop square. So what I don't want is this, throw it where I now have to pivot and then shoot, okay? So what we're talking about here is preparing with our footwork before we have the ball. And we'll talk about this as, as a coach. You guys who I coach know this. It's all about preparation. It's all about before. So when I come through here, I want to catch it here already square for my shot. We talked about pivot foot a little bit. Part of the reason it's so important is 
I want to have my left foot pivot foot available. Now in this instance, if I jump stop, I have both. Somebody's on me, I can fake, I can drive, I have all of this. Or if I'm coming free, I'm prepared as I catch the ball in a perfect shooting position. So we're going to work on shooting on the move. If you're by yourself, and this is really important, if you're by yourself, it looks the same, throw yourself the ball. So it's shot, okay? Same thing, throw yourself the ball. All right, here we go. Good, well done. I like to catch, I like to shot. You ready? Go. Perfect. Great form, great shot. Let's do it again. Prepare your feet to catch the ball. Good. Perfect. Nice job, Thea. Alright, here we go. Do it again. Prepare your feet. Turn. Beautiful. Really well done. Keep it up. Here we go. Prepare your feet. Ah, let's get some legs in there. Let's get some legs in there. That's all right. All right. You knew right away. That's good. You knew right away. Go. Prepare your feet. The bad pass. Line ball. Good job. Recovering. Okay. So you could do that on the left. And then, of course, you want to do it on the right. So we'll move that over here. Again, now we're going to catch it here. Alright, here we go. Ready? Go. Alright, it's good. I want to see if you can catch it square without having to take that step. If you can, come around that cone and catch it square. Here we go. Ready? Alright. Okay. See if you can do it. Now, on this side, it's a little easier for a right handed player. Because we're left handed pivot foot, that's our inside foot. So I could catch, turn, and shoot. Okay? Over here, it's different. My right foot's my inside foot, and we really want to have our left foot pivot foot available. So we don't want to catch, turn, and shoot like this. We want to catch it in the jump stop to get our shoot. Okay? Alright, so see if you can catch it in the jump stop. It's alright if you can. Here we go. Dragging that pivot foot. It's alright. Get that, get those hips turned for me. Here we go. Go. Good. It's alright. Didn't go in, but it's a good job. Keep it up. Go. You gotta square up. You gotta square up, right? If you don't catch it square, move that foot. That's alright. It's hard. Come around, turn. I'll leave you a little more time. Come around. Go. Around. I was late with the pass there. Here we go. One more time. Here we go. Around the, around the cone. Good job. Oh. Right. Can you do it until I do it right? Yeah, keep going. Beautiful. Have our pivot foot. Come on around again. Go. Woo! Pretty. I like it. Go. All right. Now, make sure.
make sure you're having some fun, right? Mixing some stuff up. So try to finish up. We like to play some music. We're not playing it now. But finish up, dribbling, making moves, shooting, all different kinds of shots. Make sure you're also doing some trick shots. Work on some things that are hard finishes for you. you know, get in here, get some reverses, do some uh, um, off balance. And the other thing that uh, that we haven't talked about, but that we've been working a lot on is just doing some turnaround shots, right? So I'll have to show you this. The turnaround shots, pivot, turn, shoot, get the ball, come out, reverse pivot, turn, shoot, work it on. Work and balance is huge in shooting, it's huge in basketball. Make sure you're jumping. Another game I like that, that I picked up recently that would be a fun one to use in your training. Uh, it's a game called 57. Really what it means set some spots up, five or six spots. And you have to make five out of seven before you move to the next spot. Put that spot at the edge of your range. If you're a three-point shooter, put it there. If you're 16 feet at the edge of your range, put it there. Put it at the edge of your range, test yourself. Put five or six spots out. Make five out of seven until you go to the next one. If you don't, if you miss three, you start over. You go back to zero and you start over. You miss the first three. And you start over. Once you've made five out of seven, you go to your next spot. You go all the way around and see how long it takes you. Five minutes, six minutes, two minutes, three minutes, whatever the time is. Now you have a goal that you can try to beat the next time. So those of you that played with me this year, you know we have a bunch of static ball handling that we could do. And um, I encourage you to still do that. You should all know it by heart. Uh, Thea could face the camera. You could demonstrate a little bit. We always start out with our inside out dribbles. Right, so inside out dribbles, right and left. Um, all right, so a little right hand, go me a little left hand. Right. Work that offhand. We want to work that weekend. Spend more time on that. Spend more time on that. Good. Then we've got our 2 1 0 uh, series. So the 2 1 0 series um, starts with two dribbles, crossover. Two dribbles, crossover. Do that for about a minute, nice and low. See how Thea's got her eyes up, she's doing a good job. Eyes up, working two, two, one, zero. So we're at two, cross, one, two, cross, one, two, cross. All right, when we finish two, we go to one, that's one, zero, so one. Is that all right, if you're not making a mistake, you're not doing it right. One and cross, one and cross, one and cross, one and cross. 
good job, Thea. All right, and zero, we're just crossing. Be deliberate and focused in this. Make it a, work, a workout that makes sense. Good. All right, hey, then we go two, one, zero between the legs. So we start with two and then between the legs. one and zero and so on. All right. Good work, Thea. Good work, Thea. Ball handling so important. Let's go zero real quick. Nice job. Then, if you want to be adventurous, this is the hardest one. All right. Um, let me go to pounds. Pounds. One. Left hand pounds. All right. Go ahead. job. Cool. Work some of that out. Last thing we're going to do, because it's something else we've been working on, spins. So, um, now spins is again, like everything else, footwork. Alright, so what we want to focus on is dribble. When we plant this foot, spin, check the ball, and lay it in. From this side, alright, again I'm dribbling Right hand, I'm going to plant my left foot, spin to protect the ball, and then lay it in. Okay? Here we go. Coming closer. Coming closer. Spin on that right foot. Okay, you spun on two feet there. I'd like to see you plant this foot and spin. Alright, do it again. Gotta bring that ball with you all the way around. It's hard. Go ahead. Press it with your left hand. Good. Good move. You did it okay. Do another one. Comes with practice. Obviously, you don't get great at these moves. Hold on. You don't get great at these moves. Hold it, hold it. Okay, watch me. I'm here. Spin shot. Okay. Cool. Plant that right yeah. foot. Spin. Yeah. Then you can take two steps and lay it in. All right. All right. So that was good. Except the key for you is to not leave the ball behind. So when you come here and you have to leave the ball behind. You can't really spin well. But see, if I spin here, the ball's right protected from my body, in my body, here, okay? Good. Excellent. Good. All right, let's go to the other side. This will be a right hand spin with a left hand finish. A right hand spin with a left hand finish. I want you to get into here. I want you to get into here, plant your left foot and spin. 
All right, so get right about here. All right, get off the left foot. Get off the wrong foot there. Get another right step. All right, so follow me again. We're going to go slow. We're going to come in, plant, spin. Lay it up. No, no, right hand dribble. Start with your right hand. Good. Hand. I need you closer, and I need you protecting the ball and spinning like this with your right. Not bad. Good thing. Something to work on. The last here, we're going to see how many shots in a row we could make. Finish on a make. Let's go. Nice. Hey, so let's make some lemonade out of lemons here. More time at home. Great time to train. Make yourself better. Come back next basketball season a better player. I hope to keep doing this. hope to inspire you. I hope to soon enough we'll be... Uh, We'll be all able to get together and play basketball again and at least have some of our friends here do some training with us. So everybody be safe. We miss you. Uh, and we'll see you soon.